if you are entering into a college or already in a college then the main things in your brain will be internships freelancing and figuring out how to make money but the million dollar question is how as a student you might be having different things exploring different stuff what skills to learn and everything and you will be in a confusion on is it really possible to get an internship during our first year or second year of our college the same damn questions were also there in my mind when i was in the first year of my college but i somehow figured it out and secured an internship during my second year of my college but 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 i met with some students who are already doing internship during the first year of their college so the simple answer to your question is yes it is possible to secure an internship during first or second year of your college but in this video i have compiled all our learnings together to help you with a road map to crack internships in the very first year of your college so if you are really serious about your career then make sure you watch this video until the end to gain more knowledge so before getting into how to get an internship let us first understand what is an internship so an internship is basically a short term work experience that is offered by some companies or some organizations for people usually students but not compulsory that the internship should be for a student but it could be for anyone the idea is for companies to evaluate the candidate before offering them a job and for a student it's a great way to get a professional experience industry experience or you can also say the hands on experience before even getting into industry by doing an internship a student can decide if the work suits his interest or not now the next part is benefits of an internship first and importantly practical knowledge that you will gain while working on real product on an internship and the second benefit is networking you can build professional connections a lot of these connections end up getting you your first project or job or a freelance project and third benefit of internship is resume building so the hands on experience the practical experience which you gain in an internship and the certificate of an internship will add more value to your portfolio and your resume and fourth most important thing is career exploration determining whether particular work or path is right for you or not so these are the overall benefits let us also listen to the benefits that our students had while working as interns in another companies hey my name is ayan khan and i am software engineering intern at interviewbit so the best experience i have gained from the internship is like learning the professional grade software and using them in the production code then another thing is using the best practices while i was working on my personal projects i don't generally follow the best practices to perform code and write them in a cleaner way but in internship you have to write cleaner code for the production level so that they can run smoothly and aur aapka bas kharcha nikal jata hai internship mein i knew in uh, python javascript java in like languages then in database i knew mysql and in front end technology i knew little bit about of react but after joining internship i have got to know more about react uh, more about react and next js and i am also uh, working on the fast api and also worked on the postgresql which is the new kind of sql so overall internships are great opportunities for people to explore their interests and get work experience to dive deeper and in that process they will end up building skills that will pave their path to land their dream job now you have understood what is an internship benefits of an internship now let's discuss about the types of internship firstly there are these paid internships where the company or the organization are ready to pay stipend for the work you are contributing to the organization and the second type of internships are the internships where you will be contributing to the organization you will be doing work but there will be no stipend so these are called unpaid internships the third type of internship is some of the kind of courses where you will just go watch and you will just earn a certificate and some of the knowledge from that video lectures so i won't call this an internship you will be just learning some of the skills from there so these are also called virtual internships and last type of internship which you should be aware of are the scam internships where you have to pay to the company or organization in return they will give some courses they will give you a certificate which is not at all useful because you won't be gaining any experience you won't be doing any work instead you are paying to the company to get some certificate out of there be aware of this kind of internship now we have understood about the types of internship now let's see what we have to do as a beginner to get this internship so first of all to get any internship or work experience 
you have to identify your interest first identify whether you are interested into video editing whether you are interested into graphic designing whether you are interested into music content writing or any other kind of skill now let's assume that your interest is into the computer science you want to develop some cool apps and work as an intern and earn money right now the second most important thing you have to do is research for companies now computer science in itself is a very vast field there is front end there is back end there is database there is data science there is machine learning there are different fields that are there inside computer science so inside computer science also you have to identify your interest once you have fixed your interest now you have to research about some companies okay what companies are aligning with your tech stack or the skills which you have learned after researching about the company the third step which you have to do is prepare your portfolio or kind of resume and cover letter for applying to that internship in that company so how to research a company how to find a company the fourth and main important thing that you have to do after creating your portfolio or resume is network reach out to professionals in your field through linkedin or some of the networking events that happen online or in some offline events in bangalore or somewhere else now we have discussed several things like identifying your interest researching about the company and then building your resume or portfolio then reaching out to the professionals or making networking or making your network strong now another billion dollar question is what skills to learn now this question is something that will never get old because every student whenever he gets started with some programming language we get started with some web development he gets started with some machine learning or any other tech stack now this is something that most students have doubt about now let's listen this from our students and come to the conclusion i was doing my projects but one day a notification popped up on our whatsapp group like require where there was a requirement for software engineering interns where they go, they have got some assignment like re, they should know uh, like the assignment requirements were ai gpt and back end and some sort of front end so i applied for that for it completed my assignment and fortunately i got selected for the interview after interview process like i got another notification that i am selected for the internship and right now i'm working on back end using python and fast api i have worked on like database like postgresql vector database and applied on all of these on the database side i am also working on the front end using the react and building a teaching assistant platform so overall their experiences first and main important point you should have technical skills so it could be any of the tech stack as our dhru sir have already discussed in how to start programming video that you should learn basics of everything and you should be master in some of the skill so it is a t shaped learning right so same thing you should apply in your learnings you should know about front end you should know about back end you should know about machine learning you should know about data science but you should be master in some of the particular skill so that is first thing you have to do those are technical skills second most important skills is soft skills communication team work problem solving and time management these are the skills that you should also have apart from this technical skill third most important thing that you should have is industry knowledge if you start building projects if you have already some of the projects that other students are not doing so you are already ahead of those students right so here the chances for you getting shortlisted for an internship would be high so have the industry knowledge build some projects have it in resume with your soft skills with your technical skills with your confidence you are ready to as an internship now the final most important question is where to find an internship and how to get shortlisted right so let's discuss on this so if you see there are several websites that are available online starting from linkedin indeed unstop where i have found my internship and at last career pages career pages is the place where organizations or companies post their openings internship opening or job openings or anything so these are the places where you can find internships if you are really watching this video until this end and enjoying the video don't miss to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel and also yes you understand right what i would suggest you is getting shortlisted from some of the online website or online portal is difficult because thousands and lakhs of students will be applying for the same kind of internship so you should be careful when you are applying so the best way to find an internship is through linkedin making connections may building referrals so if you need a full video how to utilize linkedin how to build network to get an internship then please do comment in the comment section 
that we need a video on how to get internship through linkedin so you can request in the comment section like make a video on networking and getting internship so we will make a video on that based on your request now another main question would be how to prepare for interview so first of all read the job description properly to get an idea of what is that company wants from you learn about the company know what they do a lot of times candidates appear for interviews without having researched about the company don't make this fatal mistake try to have some examples or projects ready to showcase if the recruiter wants to see your work and it helps to read up about the interviewer the quality of your conversation you can have with them gets better and that can lead to higher chances of your success lastly be confident dress well if it is a virtual interview have your camera mics and internet connection in place and start the interview with a smile in conclusion college is a great time to experiment and learn doing an internship catalyzes your learning process and at the same time provides you the necessary exposure to grow in your professional career if you are doing a four year course and having eight semester try to do at least four to five internships three to four as beginners and one as a professional which will end up getting you a good ppo that is pre placement offer those four or five internships should not be of different roles instead it should be aligning with your career goals as we have discussed so if you have done everything which we have discussed in this video very well then high chances are you will end up getting an internship and also ppo at the end of your internship or you will be able to use that experience or end up landing a job in your dream company so if you have any more doubts if you have any kind of requests regarding any videos then make sure you ask them in our comment section and if you find this video very helpful so that they would also enjoy this video and gain some knowledge out of it we will meet in another video thanks for watching all the best for your career